A city founded by a Muslim king, later becoming the home of Gandhi as he broke barriers between the Hindus and the Muslims. There's a warmth in the eyes of the people here that you won't find anywhere else. You would have no idea what was brewing beneath it all. In 1947, India got its freedom from the British rule. The country was divided into two. The predominantly Muslim-dominated states became Pakistan, whereas the Hindu-majority states remained India. Thousands of Hindu families were forced to leave Pakistan to avoid persecution. Some Muslims left India, but there were many who chose to stay in the great secular democracy of India. Farzan, give me your radio. Bloody Muslims! They live in India and cheer for Pakistan. They want to see fireworks. We'll show them fireworks. Antabar. Bairampura, Chamanpura, Chuapura. In Parzania, you could listen to cricket whenever you want and not get into trouble. Really, it's Parzania beautiful? Of course, the buildings are made of chocolate, the rooftops are made of halwa, the rivers are made of kheer, the mountains are made of ice cream. The chocolate ice cream? Chocolate, strawberry, tutti frutti, any flavor you like. And you can eat it? Of course. One minute, one minute. Yes, Dr. Jai Raman, good morning. He just called. He will be here any minute. The American? Yeah. Alan is his name. Well read. Intelligent for an American. <laughs> I think he is finishing his uh, thesis on Gandhi. Very good. Let's have it. <laughs> if you make a wish at me, Arjunya, will your wish come true? Of course, one hundred percent. But you have to pray like me. Rumble, mumble, do not tumble. God, this is your servant, humble. Pray, come on. Rumble, mumble, do not tumble. God, this is your servant, humble. Acha mani, pacha mani, andheri, gandheri. Dil shaad dia is very hungry. Close your eyes. Open them. That's the drum, my son, with the cap. And Dil shaad, my daughter, and my wife Shainaz. Ah, beautiful. What about you? Are you married? Fuck no. I just broke up with someone actually. Fucking psycho. Dude, never date a hippie. <laughs> Please, you can't drink in here, Alan. <laughs> no, anywhere else in Gandhi State, for that matter. Yes, yes, I know. Please, Alan. I love that about Gujarat. Lots of poverty, no booze. Who's this, Allah? No, that's Zarathustra. I'm a Parsi, not a Muslim. What's a Parsi? We are like. The Jews of India. Oh, so you own the theater then? No, no. 
That was a joke. Oh. What about you? Are you Jewish? Christian. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. <laughs> You're just in time. But please go to Sheila auntie and tell her mama wants lemon and get it. Please baby. Okay. You should have seen the look on her face when they saw me. Really? <laughs> uh -oh. What happened? Oh, no, these guys have to get over today only. Ah, the bright chagan. No? I tried. No, now we are out for two days. More like two weeks. The shortage has never been so bad. I wonder why. Really. Auntie! How are we talking, Jay? My mommy wants to borrow a lemon. <laughs> I know, I know. I, I told her she would need more than that, but she never listens to me. Nobody ever listens to me. Not even my husband. Hmm, what's that? I've never heard that before. <laughs> hmm. It's your only job? This? No, no, no. I work in a cinema. I have to earn some bread also, you know. <laughs> what about you? How's India been treating you? People have been way too nice. <laughs> Just because you're white. <laughs> you must be thinking you have lots of money. Uh, sure so doesn't seem to be a lot of that floating around here. No, there is. It's just that a few people have most of it, that's all. Same shit in the States. At least you don't have people killing each other for no reason. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, oh shit. We got three times the homicide rate as India, man. It's a hell of a lot easier getting your ass shot off in L.A. than Bombay. Must be those horrible movies that you keep seeing. Now you put all these pebbles in a straight line and I'll show you how to enter Pazinia. Okay. Go.